the week-long Circle City Indiana Pride Festival getting bigger every year. Organizers say they are hopeful that means shifting attitudes and a possible change in state law in the future. RTV 6's State House reporter Katie Hines is live at Military Park where that festival wraps up tonight. Katie. Matthew, you can see a number of people are still here in the final hours of the festival downtown checking out sunglasses, hats, other attire here at the Pride Festival. And they tell us, the folks that we talked to today, they're encouraged, they're hopeful. They could see statewide civil rights protections for the LGBT community soon. We talked to the Grand Marshal of this morning's parade who has been active with Indy Pride and Freedom Indiana. Chris Paulson tells me she's encouraged by Governor Holcomb's welcome letter for the festival, one in which he stated, at Hoosier Hospitality means that all are welcomed and valued in our state. Other pride goers from across the state tell me they're optimistic based on the turnout alone. A bill to expand statewide protections for the LGBT community died in the state legislature last year. This year, the governor and Republican leaders in both the House and Senate said social issues were not a focus. I do because it's like in the music industry and everything that we just now starting to really get accepted and noticed and like getting accepted for who we are and I, it's wonderful. I love it. I pray and I hope that it will be, but it's up to the people to keep fighting for our rights and that's what we need. out to both organizers and IMPD to find out official total estimates for today for the entire week-long festival. No word back yet, but we can tell you it all wraps up tomorrow a noon March at the State House will be the final event. That's an equality march for unity and pride. Reporting live downtown, Katie Hines, RTV6. Earlier today, the Indy Pride Parade kicking off with a moving tribute to the Orlando victims of the Pulse nightclub shooting. 49 people in black shirts led the way, representing each of the people who died last year in that massacre. Next, more than 100 floats rolling down Delaware Street right behind. Also filling the street, groups that were walking, dancing, even riding motorcycles. And for them, it is a day to celebrate uniting and serving the LGBTQ community in Indiana. Everyone comes down. It's diverse. You see a little bit of everything. You see some things you want to see and some things you may not have occurred to you before. Right. So, you, you know, but it's a great group of people. Everybody's happy. Everybody has a smile on their face and everybody has a good time. It's just a, a great time. It's just the overall excitement and uh, the positivity. Everyone's always happy and smiling and just a real feel good energy on the avenue here. If you were out there for the parade, you may have noticed a police presence. This is the first time the festival is being recognized as a civic event. That means extra support from officers from the city.